up today on Better Connecticut. Bars are closed, but you can whip up a cocktail at home. Queenie's Cocktail Bar is giving us some recipes. Plus, just because you're working at home doesn't mean you can't be fashionable. Debbie Wright is showing us some loungewear trends. And two of the ladies of the talk are joining us to talk about their new season. Your day is about to get better, starting right now. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Better Connecticut and happy fall. Five and a half hours in. Yes, fall arrived at 931 this morning and we have got some unbelievable pictures of pumpkins to show you. Yeah. Uh, this is from Michael, uh, excuse me, Dave. Dave Haversat in Oxford. Kara, look at the size of these pumpkins that he grew. He grew these in his own garden. The, it's incredible. How do you do that? Are there special seeds? Yeah, I think there's like a special, like a hybrid seed or something that you have to get the special seeds to grow the pumpkins that big. But We uh, call him Dave Harvest because we want to be funny, but it's Dave Haversat. Dave, but... Dave Haversat from <laughs> Oxford, Connecticut. So he sent in his beautiful pumpkins uh, look at that. Look at his whole yard. Is just He's got pumpkins everywhere. He put them up on bales of hay. Isn't that festive? It is. It is. And, you know, it, that might be all you can do. We're going to get to some of the new CDC <laughs> guidelines for Halloween. But in the Don't meantime, do anything. Just stay as, home. As if 2020 wasn't spooky enough, there will be a full blue moon on Halloween, making it even Ooh. spookier than usual. They call it the blue moon because it's the second full moon in a month. Yeah, this is also going to be the first blue moon in the U.S. since March of 2018, according to this. Despite its name, a blue moon is not necessarily blue. It's just because it occurs twice in the same month. Yeah. And it's a rare occurrence. So you, I'm sure you blue moon. Do you have some kind of uh, spirituality I, I, connected no, no, with this but moon? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> there is. Listen, it's a full moon. Yeah. People don't sleep as well. Things can happen. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will try not to be out there howling. Will you be howling in the West End? I, I mean, the funny thing is the last time there was a blue moon in March of 2018, Kara, I heard howling from my house. <laughs> she was out there going, <laughs> No. No. Okay. The Centers for Disease Control has now just issued some guidance about Halloween. And if your kids are as excited about Halloween as mine are oh, and asking, at, do we get to past. do it? Do we get to do it? Look at the past. I know. The there it is. This is they don't want this. They basically want to warn everyone that most of our traditions about wearing costumes, going trick-or-treating in crowds, all that, indoor parties, and not a good idea. They do want to remind people that costume masks, you are know, not, are not, they're not going to help you. <laughs> they're not going to help you. Uh, as far good, as the right, pandemic. Exactly. So and Look at they, the little kids, Kara. They did say individually dogs. wrapped trick-or-treating could be good. Like if you left little bags out and yeah. people could just take those. I thought we did a story on the new news where a man put one of the um, wrapping tubes. We did and, it right here and better. Oh, we did here too? Okay, yeah. yes, where he just put one in at a time. That yeah. would be good if you have yeah. a railing. He had a tube. And he yeah, just a little tube, and he stuck it down in the there. tube, and the kids get it goes drops right in the bucket. They said also if you do an outdoor parade and keep people apart, you know, like a costume parade in your neighborhood. and oh, you know, I know, it's I just know. the whole thing of social distance. All right, they say that the grass isn't always greener on the other side of the fence unless you own this pair of overalls. I this mean, is from Gucci. Kara, guess. I know you know how much it is, but if you were to pay for this in TJ Maxx. I want everyone Max, at home to take a moment, and then we'll tell you what these grass stains, grass stained overalls cost. They're from Gucci. Remember the name Gucci. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to tell you. $1,400. $1,400. For that really nice worn-in look, they say. Dun, 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 dun. Who's wearing overalls these days? There, I, I, when was the last time you saw somebody in overalls? They're, they're a trend now, I guess. Oh, look, they come in jeans, too. Yes, and, these and are, those are cheaper. They're $1,200. 1200 just, just for the jeans. That's, but see, that's those awesome. Are, they're on a man, and I don't know. They look like lady jeans to I me. I love that the tag here. It says, your mom probably knows how to get grass stains out of clothes, so she's probably should not be consulted about the cleaning care of these jeans. You're paying a lot overalls. of money for those. Designer Good. grass stains. Designer grass stains. Just go roll around in your front yard. It's awful. All right. Sarah Lyons is going to be 97, and she's amazing because she bowled what's called a no-tap 300. She's got you beat, Mr. Haney. And she certainly does. The highest score I ever got in bowling was a 229, tap or no-tap. Look at her. Look at Look how spry she is. She's going to be 97. She said God gave her good health and a good right arm. And she, I guess that means if you have a no-tap 300, 
You know more about bowling than I do. We have to look this up, though. I have never heard of a no tap 300. It, it's a perfect score is a 300, right? Perfect but score is a 300. But this I think means that she didn't do a, any less than nine pins. So maybe you get her, some extra points when you do right, other and strikes. Right, no open frame. So she's probably got a spare each single time. But it was a no tap 300. Which, and who cares? Here's what she had to say about her longevity. I guess it, it's how I feel inside. The what I, you know, I just have to keep going. I won't give up. I wouldn't give up no matter how old I get. I hope I'm bowling at that age, let me tell you. Look at her. How is she almost 97? She moves like a so, like a, the, the reporter asked if she was 32. She really just, I mean, she doesn't look like she's have any, problem, any trouble walking. She's got quite an arm. It's amazing. Good for her. Those jeans should, those are better jeans than the ones from Gucci. Yeah, I want her jeans. <laughs> okay. All right, now another survey finds out that 40% of Americans out there would give up their dog for a month over giving up their phone. I, I they get more anxious about giving up their phone. I, I cannot believe this. I would never, ever give up my cat dash. No, never. Well, having just lost Angelo, who, by the way, thank you for all of. I'm going to get yeah, to all the, the Facebook messages. Yeah, still up on my mailbox. It is. Yeah. Oh, we went around the neighborhood trying to find them all. I guess we missed one. <laughs> I'll take it down. Will for you. you take it down I'm for me? I was afraid that somebody was going to say he's sabotaging the poster, like an election poster. No. And I was like, I'm just leaving it up. I don't no, know. Angelo is home safe, and B basically lays in our bed all day. And I think he's learned some lesson. He's of quieter. Course. Yeah. I mean, Out I'm not taking wild. any chances. The other thing about this survey. Uh, 44 percent, so even more than with the dogs, 44 percent they would give up their romantic partner for a month over their phone. That I would, well, <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying anything that's going to get me in trouble. You might not have a partner if you say that. <laughs> We're talking to Sharon Osbourne coming up a little bit later on in the show because yeah. the talk premiered yesterday and uh, she couldn't be on set because Jack Osbourne's daughter, Minnie Three, has coronavirus, Kara. Yeah. She said that she tested positive and that she's doing great. And also Sharon Osbourne feels fine, but she needs to quarantine. She was very excited to come back uh, to the studio, but she's going to have to remote in until her quarantine is over. We are talking to her live coming up, um, but she didn't get to go. She didn't get to go she to the show. To so we're going to show you the opening but everybody's coming up okay. in just a bit. Yeah, everybody's okay, which is good news. Hang are, on are a minute. you looking for something? Yeah, hang on a minute. Okay. Hello? Uh, Megan? It's Meghan Markle. Oh, I heard she's making phone calls for the election. How you doing? Yeah, I'm going to vote. Absolutely. Okay, thanks a lot. And say hi to Gloria. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> Gloria Steinem, the famous feminist, she is called, uh, says Meghan Markle is cold calling Americans, urging people to get out and vote in this November election. I think it's just great. Imagine Meghan Markle calling you at your house, like, hey, hey, I'm calling you to make sure you're going to vote. And, um, you know, they're not encouraging, they don't care about political party, they're just getting, encouraging you to get the vote out. Well, a lot of people, they say, unfortunately, that young people are the least likely to come out and vote. And so a lot of these celebrities are really trying to tell people, you know, get out there and vote. You have no right to complain if you don't vote, right? It's so funny. I'm such a guy at some certain points. I'm looking at the car they're driving more importantly than them. Like, just like Did, a, I didn't even notice the car. What was it? I, I, think, it was a rain, I think it was a Range Rover. I'm pretty sure, but what do I know? All right, Ellen DeGeneres also has come back on the air, and she tried to make light of what happened this summer, but at the same time saying taking it very seriously, those accusations of a toxic work environment. She basically said the buck stops here with her, and she feels very badly about what happened, but she also made a joke and said now. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Because there's certainly accusations that she didn't want anyone to look her in the eye. I, I, and then they had her, uh, one of her former producers on Inside Edition last night. She came on and she was just basically, it's all lies. She, was, she knew what was going on. She was, uh, so it's like, it's he said, she, she said type thing. But they did get rid of a lot of the cast, a lot of the behind the scenes people. You know, I give her credit that show. she said this. Like, it's a tough position to be that kind lady, right? She is about kindness. Right. But she said, that's one part of me that you see on TV, but I'm also... A lot more things. I do get angry. I do get impatient. I do She's all those things, being. and I'm working on it because I'm a work in progress. But you know, she is a boss to many, and I'm not saying what, whatever happened was right because people should never feel that way at work. But I, I give her credit that she said, you know, I'm not perfect, and I'm not always this smiley, right. happy person but you if, see. If you have a toxic work environment, you, you have to fix address it. it. And apparently, people are saying that she knew about it and just let it go for and let years. Let it go, so right? And we'll see what happens. All right, Kara, what's coming up on People tonight? Well, we're going to find out what people are talking about. Take a look. Here's what people are talking about John McEnroe and Patty Smythe. I cannot stand you cannot be serious anymore because he says it a lot. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. 
and people want to hear it all the time, and 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 then you know it becomes a joke, and he I said, tortures honey, it. I get paid for he that. He tortures okay, me you know. with it. Yeah. I mean, come on. Let but me. what she I goes, like, don't you ever, ever say you cannot be serious again. I'm like. Okay, boom, there goes the income. Now, playful banter aside, John could not take his eyes off of his wife as she shot the music video for Build a Fire, a song she wrote about their 25-year marriage. Kate. Love it. The entire story tonight on People. I had no idea that they were married. Did, hey, did anybody, did you guys know that they were married? I, I don't think I knew Patty that. Patty Smythe with John McEnroe? I had no idea. See, you gotta watch people and then you learn these things. <laughs> and they did very good. They're doing very good here in Connecticut. So thank you for watching. We appreciate that. All right, still to come today on this hour long edition of Better Connecticut. We're now an hour long. Thank you for staying with us. How about a cocktail? <laughs> it's too early for that. No, it's never too <laughs> early. It's fall. All right, but the bar is closed though. We're gonna show you how to craft some at home. So maybe get out your glasses and we'll teach you as we go. Plus look chic while lounging around. Debbie Wright has some comfy fashions for us. I love loungewear. We'll be right back.